<laughs> Marcus Conti reporting on the most boring debate, the most nothing debate I've ever seen. Just nothing. <laughs> How was the debate last night? Nothing. <laughs> Actually, there was a lot. A lot of cancellation. A lot, a lot of canceling each other out. I think a lot of the uh, contestants last night, uh, a lot of damage was done to Joe Biden, a lot of damage done to Kamala Harris, uh, Cory Booker. I, I think they got slaughtered. They slaughtered each other. And that's a good thing. <laughs> it was almost like you were watching, um, it, it seemed like last night, two nights ago, you watched the major leagues. You watched Bernie Sanders and, 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 and um, Elizabeth Warren go heel to heel, battling off the evil powers. And last night you saw those evil powers piled on top of each other, competing for, for space. There were some winners, I'll talk about the winners, but uh, talk about the losers first. So, so here's the deal, right? <laughs> and this is an uncomfortable subject for, for blacks. Right? Camilla Harris will never be the President of the United States. Let me say that again. Camilla Harris, the alleged black candidate, will never be the President of the United States. Because she, and I, and I know this to, to some blacks, this sounds racist, like the white guy doesn't understand the black woman. Uh, black, white man, white, you're white. You don't understand how a black woman talks. She's not angry black. She's not angry. She's not black. She's she's black, but she's not angry. And she ain't no bitch. <laughs> the truth is, she is angry. Right? She is angry and she's a liar. She got caught in many, many lies and refused to fess up. So So that I want to talk about that. That because that's important. That that black that white white people see black women as angry that's that they get they get pissed off when you say that so I'll say it again Camilla Harris is an angry black bitch it's not look it's not it's not my job to interpret your personality as something other than what I perceive it to be does that make sense you it, it's your job to present yourself to me in a way that I can digest I, like for example, n not everybody likes my presentation, and you can you know d don't let the door hit you in the ass while you're leaving. I don't care. But if you're running for president of the United States, and you appear to be an angry, angry black bitch, and then you you try to tell me that that you don't know what you're seeing, that you don't know what you're looking at, that you don't know how to interpret the black the black ethos, it's not angry. It's it's something else. It's for you to figure it out. It's just, it's just not right. It's backwards. So, Camilla Harris isn't angry. That, that was my impression right there. I'll get into the details. Sorry about Joe Biden. Joe Biden. His, his face. I, I can't look at his face. I, he's got. It looks like he. It looks like his his forehead is. It, it looks like the um, one of those characters in Star Wars. I can't think of which one it is. Uh, the 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 the, the card I, I don't know I think he's a Cardassian <laughs> and his his head is like his forehead you see the wrinkles in his in his big ass forehead and his his old gray hair on top of it and everything from here down <laughs> is is fake it's like it looks like he removed parts of his face and his teeth are fake He's got a fake teeth. Everything below his 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 cheekbones are fake. When he goes this way, you could see the pulling back of his fuck. I don't want to fucking look at this guy anymore. That's what I look at when I look at him. He smiles and, and it all falls apart. Right? His eyes squint. It's like fucking there's too much pressure on my goddamn face. My fucking the stitches are gonna pop out. You look at and and is it um, is it an exaggeration to say he did too much work on his face? No, because look at some of the, the the most recent pictures when he was with Obama, before all of his massive surgery, 
and 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 stuff. He looked like uh, he had like a he had like a like a like a punching bag face, like you know, full face. His his this part of his face was as wide as the forehead part of his face. <laughs> These are things that you shouldn't have to be thinking about while you're watching a uh, uh, a presidential debate, right? <laughs> right? But that's what you think about. That's what I think about when I talk saw Biden. So um, so five minutes in, I totally I totally attacked. The two front runners as being angry black and 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 uh, and a, a Cardassian, <laughs> a a a a uh, plastic surgery gone bad, uh, a poster child for b- bad plastic surgery, and that's what I that was my takeaway because all of them stand for nothing. All of them are uh, corporatists in one way. They're they're buffed and polished pol- politicians. So those are the two alleged front runners. I, you know, it's just ridiculous. I think I thought again. I thought it was. I thought you saw nobody on that. Nobody that I'm talking about today is going to be president of the United States. So if that's what you're waiting for me to say, you can shut it off now because you're not going to hear it. You're just gonna. I'm going to talk. I want to talk about the the winners that I thought, and that's uh, Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, Jay Inslee, oh man, love that guy, and and Andrew Yang. So those are my one, two, and three. I'll throw it right out there, uh, and I'll tell you why. And and I, and I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta bash Tulsi Gat, Tulsi Gabbard one more time, because she revealed something about herself that I always suspected, and you know, and I I, I knew it, and then she said it for me, and I'll tell you what that is. So let's just get the other ones out of the way. Kristen, Kristen Gillibrand. I'm from New York. She's the senator from New York. She's a phony. She takes more corporate money than anybody. She, she'll say, oh, get money out of politics, and she'll take that money in a heartbeat. She's a phony. She's a fake. She's, she said something that, I, I mean, I almost shut it off at that point, but because, I'm, because this is what I do, I have to watch it. Right? It's like, it was painful to watch, really. I mean, after like, after like, a, like, a, like 45 minutes of it, I was... You know, I was twitching in the chair, trying to watch other YouTube videos, trying to listen to two things at once while they're talking. It's just, they were really bad. It was a, it was a bad night. Uh, Democrats, pay attention. You, you're, you're killing people with this. You're putting them to sleep. You're, you're, you're making them stare at angry blacks and, and fucking, you know, and, 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 you know, pin back faces all day long. Kirsten Gillibrand said this. Her son, when, when her son walks down the street, with a bag of M&Ms and a hoodie. His whiteness protects him from being shot. <laughs> what? Wow, what a race card she played. She's saying that all police have have black vision. They shoot blacks. Let me repeat that. Her son, her son, if walking down the street with a bag of M&Ms and a hoodie on, right, that's, that's black, I guess, what well, she was trying to imply, that hoodies are black, his whiteness protects him from being shot. That's a disqualifier. You're a fucking racist. You're, 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 you're insensitive. You're, you're, playing, you're playing a racist game, and you lost. That's all I'll say about Kristen Gillibrand. Bye bye. I hope she. I hope we don't see her anymore. You know, disqualified. Whatever. No money. Get off the stage, you fucking loser. All right, so Mike. Um, Mike Bennett, Colorado senator. He he was he was Mr. Politician. Very. I've been in the Senate for 35 years, and I I could give a rat's ass about the people. I'm going to tell you about how politics works in in Washington D.C. And as your president. I'll implement all that bullshit right on you. <laughs> he he was he was nobody, Mr. Politician, Bennett, Senator. He didn't say anything, grab my attention. Same for Julio, Julio Iglesio Castro. <laughs> Julio Iglesio is <laughs> uh, just Obama stooge. Mr. Latino, no 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 vision, no just an empty suit, you know. There's no vision there. He's just a, he was just a buffed and polished guy, you know, 
He's a worker. You, you, you got, that's the guy you want to hire in your cabinet. Say, yeah, do this, you jerk off. Do this. Shut up and do do your job. He's the A student that the C student has to scream in his face. Do your fucking job. <laughs> he was a yes, Obama. Yes. Yes, Obama. Would you like me to go this way? Which way would you like me to go? This way? I'll go that way. Right? That's He's a yes, Obama guy. Bye-bye, Julian. Julio. Julio. Cory Booker. Phony motherfucker. Slumlord from Newark as the mayor. Anybody who who's from this area knows that Newark is a shithole. It always has been a shithole. It's very violent. It's very um, run down. Not, not the glorious city we think of that it could be because it's only you could see if you stand on a building in Newark you could see Manhattan beautifully. It's very close to it's like maybe you know a couple of uh, like a little a short train ride from Manhattan where he was the mayor and he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. He was you know corrupt and he, he, he got in there as it was a shithole and when he left it was a shithole. And he lied about it. He was, you know, attacked on stage uh, quite a number of times. De Blasio is a phony, a liar. I like that, that he got heckled over the, um, the uh, Pantelio thing. Now, if you don't know that controversy, the Pantelio is the cop that shot um, uh, Eric Garner, the, the 400-pound Lucy salesman, in New York. And the cop got away well he got away with he, he didn't there was no murder charge or manslaughter but he also didn't lose his job he is he's on for people that don't know he's not walking around the streets with a gun he's on um, a desk he's been on desk uh, uh, service uh, since that incident but so there were hecklers at the at the that's what they were screaming why did why didn't you fire Pantelio because it's really not it, it's de Blasio dropped that ball it's not really because I believe that 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 was bad policing and it certainly wasn't it, it certainly wasn't murder or manslaughter it was just bad policing angry police they, they're told that the sergeant standing on the side okay arrest them and that's what they do they go in they jump on you if you don't if you don't surrender they jump on you and that's just what they do and that's bad policing and the guy died because of it you could have threw a net over him but nonetheless De Blasio was heckled at the at the debate, and he didn't he didn't know how to answer the question. He he pretended it wasn't for me. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Oh, Pat Daly, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> he tried to blow it off like nobody knew what they were talking about. But in New York, that's a rather big thing that he um, he he folded on that one, you know. So but anyway, but nonetheless, he's a phony. He the police hate him. His approval rating in New York is probably less than twenty percent. Not going to be the president. So. So let's talk about the winners. I want to let I want to get I want to get Tulsi Gabbard out of the way. Tulsi Gabbard said something, and and I know this is gonna this just hurts people's feelings. People that are invested in Tulsi, Tulsi 2020. Oh, I love her. I love Tulsi. <laughs> She's got that 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 um cold following so far. She said. She laid into Camilla Harris. She's got a good, she's got a good offense. She laid into Camilla Harris on her. Uh, I'll give her credit for that, on her Camilla Harris's record as AG in California, where she was horrible. She sided with the, um, she was very very hard on on criminals and mostly blacks were the recipient of it. Black candidate was very harsh on blacks. And Camilla, and and Tulsi Gabbard laid into her and let her know that we were paying attention so she wins for that she gets a point for that but here's what she said and this is disturbing this is what I thought this is why first I don't I don't want a militant a army brat a subservient soldier in the White House I want a free thinker I want a a human being a person that's not overly conditioned to follow orders Trump is is a great example of that. A, a, a leader. I don't think that you can lead after that kind of um, uh, indoctrination. And she said, and I quote, she believed Bush, 
She believed Bush. She said this. Now, it's not me saying it. I'm paraphrasing because I didn't write it down. But she believed Bush. She said, we were all lied to over weapons of mass destruction with Bush. We were all lied to. And, and I believed, quote, I believed that he had weapons of mass destruction. And that's why I enlisted and went to Iraq. That's what she said. Right? That's the war candidate saying that. Now, I guess you could say that that's a noble feat. That's that that she wanted to serve our country. But the bigger the bigger uh, revelation there is her judgment. She believed George Bush, and, and that that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. And the reason we were, were weren't were taking over the reason we were taking over Iraq and Saddam Hussein wasn't because of oil and a CIA uh, you know insert uh, and conversations we've had with with Saddam Hussein 20 years before that she didn't either didn't know the history or her judgment was so poor that she was willing to die over a lie. Right? You stand against that you don't fly into it you don't say sign me up right uh, based on a lie you walk away from that Tulsi god damn you walk away from that you don't join that's what I was trying to say about militants I don't and now it's it, to me it's crystal clear Tulsi Gabbard is a subservient um, warrior with uh, poor judgment and that, and I'll I'll cite the uh, again. I'm citing the Iraq, her own comments. You could replay it. I'm I'm paraphrasing, but I got it right. Uh, so um, that's why she went to Iraq, because she believed Bush's lie. Sorry, Tulsi, you lose. So um, so so I want to talk about uh, Jay Inslee. I, I'm gonna give. Even though I disagree with Tulsi Gabbard, she's far better than anybody else there. Uh, I'm going to give her number three. And number one and two is a coin toss because a Andrew Yang is the man. Andrew Yang and his idea of the $1,000 um, freedom dividend. <laughs> freedom dividend. It's beautiful. Right? Where you're, 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 you're attacking poverty and... and uh, Unemployment and and uh, insolvency and debt by actually stimulating the economy from the bottom down using a, a freedom dividend. He didn't apparently he didn't invent it. It seems to have come from FDR or one of these other. I don't know exactly where he dug it up, but it certainly is a great idea. He wins points for that. He was he was he was calm. He was he was pleasant to to watch. He puts a smile on my face. I don't. That's the best way I can explain Andrew Yang. When I watch him, I say, I say, this guy gets it. I, this guy gets it. If he were placed, I don't know his position. He doesn't call out corruption. He doesn't. That's his fault. He doesn't call out money in politics or or institutional corruption. Corruption in D.C. He's kind of quiet on that. He should speak more about that. But he is. He does have the character. The leadership um, uh, persona, and I think he would make you know he would be a great. I don't think he'll be the president, but I think he would be a great, uh, a great, a great you know finalist. If there's four or five, I really hope I really hope he's standing there with uh, with Bernie Sanders because he could push Bernie Sanders a little bit on his idea of universal basic income. And other things too. His his other thing is that we're 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 not only outsourcing our jobs, but we're um, we're creating robots that do the jobs for 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 us, uh, causing unemployment. So he makes a lot of good points. He's an original. He stands out. Uh, outstanding number two. And I got to give the win to Jay Inslee. Right? Very unexpected. Who the hell is Jay Inslee? He's the governor from. Washington State and he only wins because he's he's a governor he he's experienced in 
governing stuff, money. And he was a steady hand. He looked like um, like one of these 50s guys with these slick glasses. And his number one thing is climate, uh, climate change. He says that if you address climate change, you address the whole package. Now, I don't agree with that assessment, but I agree with half of it because if you address climate change for what it is, you take down the fossil fuel lobby. The, the wars over oil go away. Right? You also stimulate the, econ the green economy in terms of developing the batteries and the solar panels and the wind turbines and tide things and nuclear, whatever you're going to do. You generate jobs doing that. And, it, and here's the biggest one, too. If you put Jay Inslee on the debate stage with Donald Trump, and Jay Inslee, his number one thing is climate change, and you got Trump on the other side who's a climate change denier, whoa, you talk about fireworks, and who's going to win that argument? The scientists, the 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 uh, uh, scientific proof on the table, the 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 evidence of uh, species disappearing from the planet, the 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 ozone, the warming of the planet, the, uh, the 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 ice caps. I know people still deny it. People still believe Trump, you know, that side of it. But uh, or Trump, who who denies the whole thing, says it's China's fault. Okay. Inslee wins that argument. So that would be an outstanding. Um, an outstanding uh, contribute uh, uh, a uh, debate. So, so I give it to uh, you. Can interchange uh, Jay Inslee, Andrew Yang, Tulsi Gabbard, one, two, and three. Pick pick them. And um, but most most importantly, there is no way. I don't think any of these people will be the president of the United States. I said it all along. I'll still say it. <clears throat> Bernie Sanders. It's either Bernie or bust. Either Bernie Sanders is the nominate, nominee and the Democrats get behind him and use all their power of cheating and all their deviant, you know, powers, their superpowers to back Bernie or Donald Trump will, will get another four years. Guaranteed. Bernie Sanders or you put up, you put up fucking you know, pushback face Joe Biden or angry black bitch Camilla Harris, you're going to lose. And if you, th if you think you're going to be slick and throw Elizabeth Warren up front and go against Trump, Elizabeth Warren on her own is a turncoat. She has a history of flipping. Under a Bernie Sanders presidency, she could be very, very useful. So... Your, your front runners in the Democratic Party are, and always have been, Bernie Sanders, one, Elizabeth Warren, two. Cabinet picks could be Tulsi Gabbard, uh, uh, Inslee, if he decides to leave the governorship. And uh, Andrew Yang would be, you know, great. Great finance, great secretary of the treasury, Mr. Math. Yeah, you know, secretary of defense or secretary of state, Tulsi Gabbard. I like those picks. President, President Bernie Sanders, get Trump out of there. One-term president. So that's my take on it. That's my spin. That's my spin. You know. Uh, again, it was painful to watch. I mean, I I I, I watch it so you don't have to, right? <laughs> uh, but the, the the good news is that uh, all of all of what I said doesn't matter because none of the people, none of the people on that stage are going to be. Tonight, last night, are going to be president of the United States. It's just not. It's not going to happen. You either Democrats get your heads out of your ass. Other other candidates drop out. Get behind Sanders, and 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 a new deal for the United for for America. Universal single payer health care. Right. Nobody else. Nobody. He wrote the bill. Bernie Sanders is the is the is the founding father of universal single payer health care all the way back to the nineties. Before Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton decided they would talk about it, Bernie already had it going. So, so Marcus Conte reporting.